Hi all and welcome to Lantern TV Sports. Join us for an interview with former OSU quarterback and 2006 Heisman Trophy winner Troy Smith. Troy, it's a pleasure to have you in studio. Really just a pleasure to be with one of the greatest players at Ohio State. So can you tell me what it feels like to be back on campus, be back in, at Ohio State? It's great. It's always an awesome feeling to be around Buckeye Nation, uh, getting a chance to be back and see the new uh, buildings, the new infrastructures that's coming up. Uh, you know, initially I joked with one of the people that I work with and, you know, said it feels a little bit like Easton, the mall <laughs> area. You know what I mean? There's so much new glass and so much new stuff to look at. The scenery is awesome. So it's pretty cool. So then, I mean, your jersey was just enshrined back during the Michigan game into Ohio Stadium. Does that kind of bring a different feeling? Very, very. Uh, you know, in the initial phases of being on campus and walking around, uh, you know, the, 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 the looks from the students would be just, uh, you know, just another guy. And then now I understand that sometimes when I get that extra look, that extra, you know, eyeball roll, that extra turn of the head, it means that they might notice who I am. You know what I mean? So uh, it's kind of awesome on one respect and, and, you know, then in the other uh, ways of life, you have to really, really be on guard, have to understand that there's always somebody watching, there's always something going on and be a role model for everybody. What was that, I kind of want to go back to that because I wasn't able to ask you about it then, but what was that feeling like to go during the Michigan game, a team you never lost to? It was awesome, but at the same time, I didn't want to jinx us and I didn't want <laughs> us to lose that day. So that was kind of, that took more precedence over what I had going on, the team winning. Uh, our starting quarterback went down that day. So, you know, honestly, to me, it was kind of bittersweet because I'm a Buckeye fan through and through. Uh, it means something for me to watch us win uh, that last game of the year and to lose our quarterback, it meant something also. So it was kind of bittersweet. But then what was it like when you were able to watch your um, high school, well, not classmate, but high school mater, uh <laughs> alumni with right. go onto the field? What was that like for you? I mean, he's an awesome player, uh, and it was great for me. It, felt, it was definitely a feel-good type situation to know that kind of the torch is being passed on. Uh, you know, no one wants to win the position by, you know, another guy getting injured. Or you want to definitely outplay the guy, but I think that they're great friends. I think they're on a, a, a playing field and a level field to where they understand that competition brings out the best in everybody. And uh, Cardale's going to be great, JT's going to be great, and we got good problems as Buckeyes. So then looking at the team this season, I know that the the most over-asked question is who's going to be the starting quarterback. <laughs> right. But I want to know what your views are of Ohio State with two quarterbacks. Um, I mean, what does that give Ohio State? Does it give them an advantage? Is it positive or negative? Well, I know as a player, uh, you know, you want the range. You want to take control of what's going on, especially at the quarterback position. Uh, the ability to share time is kind of spotty. Uh, you want to get a chance to, if you're going to make the mistake, uh, get a chance to rebound and do some good and positive things. Uh, I was a part of a two quarterback type system. Uh, it was a little bit productive, but obviously when one of the guys got a chance to do their thing, uh, the Buckeyes took off and we soared. Uh, you know, it, it can build character and it can also break it down. So who knows? I think Urban will make a great decision though. So then, I mean, if you were put in this position, I guess how would you act if you were JT and Cardell? Because I know like right now they're getting along really well. They're yeah. really speaking each other's praises, yeah. but in the back of the mind, you got to be like, I want to be the starter. So I guess, uh, what do you, well, how would you go through this? Of course, with blinders on. Um, you know, at that point in time when I was competing, it was about seek and destroy. Uh, in this day and age, it might be something a little different for the athletes, but if I was in that position and I was uh, competing with this guy for it, uh, it would definitely be about taking care of business every single day, and I would horse with blinders on. Uh, one objective, and that's to destroy the person that I'm going against. Okay, that's that's how I would be as well. I have to agree with you there. Okay, right. now looking at the massive hurdles that Ohio State does have to go through. I mean, quarterback situation being number one, not knowing who your you know who your starting quarterback is going to be, but then already having to go through suspensions with top players mm. being suspended, and now an injury with Noah Brown. Mm. How do players handle that situation? How can players handle this whole? Well, I think uh, adversity builds character. And then obviously through any type of adverse situation, your true character, your true person, whoever you are, really comes out. Uh, hopefully that uh, all of the adversity that we've been through, it does nothing but help build coarse and tough skin in the right ways for our guys and puts us in a winning and wanting to win type of mind frame. I think that we've got the, the correct staff to keep our kids and keep our guys in line. Even though 
Uh, we as youngsters make mistakes. You get a chance to rebound. You get a chance to understand that life is happening now. And not only the decisions that you make shape you, but the rest of your team. Uh, I think we'll be uh, not only even more mentally sharp, but mentally focused and have a total understanding the whole way around that when we lose a guy, there's a next guy up. And he's just as good as the guy that we lost. Who knows that the guys that made these mistakes, who knows if their positions will be on lock when they come back. And hopefully they get a chance to say, you know what, I don't want to lose this again. I won't chance it again. And I'm a Buckeye. So then, I mean, looking at the Buckeyes and Ohio State, media attention is just massive. And I don't yeah. think um, fans or you know, people, students on campus are able to see the amount of attention that's on them. Right now at the Buckeyes, Scarlet and Grade 8s, I know you had a lot with right. your Heisman Trophy uh, going up in 2006. How, as a player, do you handle that attention? Well, it's totally different for the athlete now than it was for me. Uh, I was a different guy then, so I was more uh, brash. I was more confrontational. Uh, Twitter or Instagram, all of these things would have probably been able to exploit the different kind of guy that I was. Nowadays, the athlete has to be totally different. They have to perform and be different off the field. So they have to be nicer people. They have to be more uh, approachable. They have to be better guys. Uh, I think this day and age, the media now creates a different type of athlete that that's totally different than what I had to endure. So I probably would have been different myself. But I think we've got the right guys, and they handle it in the right ways. Obviously, Jerry Emig, the rest of the, the staff off the field who gets a chance to do things, uh, whether it be in the media spotlight, et cetera, et cetera, I think they do a great job with setting our athletes up and letting them know the do's and don'ts in moving forward. So then, I mean, now we're already going to start with Virginia Tech here very soon. You have a similar situation with Texas. Yeah, yeah. And you came back in your first, and like, you came back and you beat Texas, came up and you got revenge mm. on that team. What does that feel like? What do you think the Buckeyes are going to do going against Virginia Tech, Hokies, yeah. and getting revenge? Uh, hopefully we don't look at it as getting revenge because, to me, you put a little bit more of a different emphasis on the game. To me, it should be about just dominating the next uh, opponent that you face. Uh, totally understand what they did to us last year. Remember that, understand that, but it's not last year. They're going to be in Blacksburg, Virginia. They're going to be doing their thing there. The weather will be totally different. The situations will be totally different. So you have to treat it totally different. Uh, but with that being said, go back to your druthers. Go back to the things that got you to where you were. Uh, play Buckeye football and remember that we're the champs. Regardless of what happened last year, we're the champs. People are gunning for us, so let's punish them. So then, I mean, national champs, defending that title. Yeah, yeah. A lot of teams are going to be out for Ohio State. Gonna. What are your predictions for the Buckeyes? My predictions uh, are very high. Uh, <laughs> I want nothing but the best. I'm thinking about nothing but the best. So I'm thinking championship or bust. Uh, you know, when you create this type of atmosphere, this is what you get. I don't think we should cry or be any type of other way in thinking. Uh, We've got the right coach. We've got the right staff. We've got tremendous talent through and through across the board. So we should only be thinking about championships and nothing less. Uh, so championship in 20, you know, 2016 is big. That's huge. No, 2015, I apologize. Yeah. Well, now looking at, you know, Sundays, students are going to be going through some withdrawal with college football being yeah. over. Sundays are now up. So what can DirecTV offer Ohio State students with their new NFL Sunday package? Well, DirecTV can definitely offer college students the ability to, when you don't have uh, the, the space to put a satellite dish, uh, now uh, DirecTV is offering uh, the NFL Sunday Ticket through uh, NFL Sunday Ticket TV U to where it's an incredible streaming package where you can stream it through your Xbox, your PlayStation 4, your Nintendo Wii, your Nintendo Wii U, whatever gaming system you have that you have the ability to uh, access the internet. Now it's a streaming package that they offer. And also for the, the adults out there, when they get a chance to go online, if they go to NFL Sunday Ticket TV, you get the same abilities. Uh, the only thing that's different for college kids is it's $24.99 a month for uh, every four-year major school across the nation. So everybody across the nation at four-year major colleges get a chance to embark on this. Well, students are definitely going to have to go check out uh, Direct TV. But thank you so much for coming in for the no interview. Problem. It was a pleasure speaking to you. And uh, good luck the rest of your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. You too.